Hi darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Taurus and this is just a little weekend check-in for the 17th and 18th of June, okay? I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck and to clarify, I will be using the classic tarot. I don't know why my camera wouldn't focus. It's focusing on something else. Anyway, so Taurus, let's see what messages we have for you. So Taurus, this is for you. The Three of Swords. Broken Heart. The Nine of Pentacles. But you're seeing some money. The Nine of Cups. Your wishes come true. The Four of Swords. You need to take a rest. You've been working pretty hard. The Queen of Wands. This could be a fire energy within your environment. I don't read my cards upside down. This could be a Leo, an Aries. Or a Sagittarius. Or maybe you just found your self-esteem and your courage. The High Priestess. You already know the answers. You just need to go within and find them. Use your intuition and pay attention to your dreams. The Six of Wands. The Victorious. Ooh, it's coming. The devil. So this card could mean like greed and lust, addiction, obsession. You just need to take stock of yourself, okay? This is just like telling you, hey, you know, you might need to look at yourself a little bit and snap out of what's going on within whatever is holding you down, okay? And the star card and i say that you will so let's see the three of swords why did this start off so sad uh, that's past energy so it's gone let's hope it stays gone On top of the Three of Swords, we have the Seven of Pentacles. You planted a seed and it's starting to grow and you're seeing little some improvements. The Emperor, this is like a father figure in your environment, someone that you go to for advice. 
This could also be you being a respected leader in your environment and maybe you're very stable. But there's a pause right now. You're just, I don't know, maybe because of the sadness that's lingering here. You're just at the standstill. You need a new perspective. You need to look at things differently, okay? Just accept, go within, accept and move on. But I know you have to go through your process, but don't stay there too long, okay? On top of the Nine of Pentacles, the rewards that you're starting to see, you want to walk away? I got the Eight of Cups. You're disappointed. You want to leave it behind. Why? Because it's a broken heart. Then the Knight of Swords. You're very action oriented. So no matter where you go, I guess you'll start over. You'll be able to start over. You're very, you're driven to succeed. And you're seeking the truth about something. And then we have the King of Wands here. The King of Wands, this is the fire energy. This could be a Leo. This could be a Leo, a Sagittarius or a Aries in your environment. This person is very courageous, or maybe you found you just found your courage. You're gonna stand up for your beliefs. You're a natural leader, or this person is a natural leader. And they have overcome many challenges. And the nine of cups, your wishes come true. On top of that is the lovers. Some love and harmony now. This could be love and harmony in your environment that will eventually lead you to find that love that you that you so that you want, that you desire. So, or the, if you're already in a relationship, you know, I mean, it's a really love relationship. It has a lot of harmony. It's a good partnership. There's a lot of attraction, passion. So on top of the Nine of Cups, you got the lovers. So you either have a lot of love in your environment or you just maybe with the one. However, you have the mindset of lack. Why is that? Because the love isn't coming fast enough? Or you're worried? This is the mindset of lack. The Five of Pentacles is the mindset of lack. It's like insecurity and fear and low self-esteem. You need to pick yourself up, okay? You're a Taurus. Pick yourself up. You'll be fine. But you might be feeling that because of the Five of Swords. This is um, this is conflict in your environment. But remember, arguing doesn't solve any problems. And this is past energy, okay? So right now, you're like in the Zen mode. You're relaxing. After all this emotional turmoil and everything... You're relaxing. You might be finding balance here. I got the two of pentacles. Or you might have a lot of priorities after going through so many things. Maybe taking care of you, resting. And then the world card. You successfully attained something. Whatever it was that you set out to do, you achieved. And it's the end of a cycle and the beginning of something really new for you. You gotta manage your time a little bit and then the page of cups yes you're gonna have some opportunities here and new messages i got the page of cups here this could be something new for you a new and happy surprise might be the queen of wands not sure might be a fire energy let's see the hierophant this has something to do maybe with marriage Whatever is coming, whatever this new beginning is. I say marriage or commitment. I got the hair front. I got the nine of pentacles. So you're going to start seeing your rewards. You're going to start seeing your rewards, but you're going to have a decision to make. Okay? Remember, life is up and down. Not everything is smooth, but you need to use your intuition. This is the high priestess here. So let's see what comes on top of the High Priestess. <clears throat> the Magician. 
You have all the tools necessary to achieve what you need to achieve. You need to believe in yourself. Follow your intuition and trust you that you can make these decisions. Go within. Find your higher self. You will find the guidance you need. <laughs> you are the magician. And then we got the death card here. So there's definitely a change. This is the end of a cycle and the beginning of something brand new for you. Endings and beginning, change and transformation, transitions. Mm, are you finding your magical side? Woohoo! Ah, are you finding your roots? Remembering who you are? That's the Six of Pentacles. Now, another way we can look at this. Is that you're magical? There is, there was some turmoil in the past here where love was concerned. You're now gonna meet someone that's new coming into your life. Um, you are the magician. There is the end of something and the beginning of something brand new for you. You had also gotten the world card over here, which is also the same thing, basically, you know. And then the six of um, the six of cups could be um, someone from the past, but. I don't know. It's however it resonates with you. Okay, I'll always give you a couple options. So we got the six of wands here. Success. You got the nine of cups. Your wishes come true. Feel satisfied. The sun. Happiness and positivity. Pleasure and happy. Oh, you happy. And the queen of swords. Now, this could be an energy in your environment. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, this person does communicate pretty directly. Um, or maybe you're awaiting communication from someone. Or you're thinking about communicating with someone. Maybe you're thinking about communicating with yourself and taking stock of this devil, whatever this... this um, card means for you. you. Gotta take stock of yourself. You need to snap out of it. You got it. You can accomplish it. So on top of the devil card comes the knight of pentacles. Hard work and productivity. You got a routine going. So you're already starting to take stock of the past or st take stock of you. you checking yourself already. Good. I got the page of pentacles. I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles. It is some extra responsibility. A lot of times when we start facing those feelings within ourselves or those things that we are unhealthily attached to, it does give us some burden. You know, it feels like we're overloaded. But you got to look at this, right? He's still, although he's carrying all of that, he's still moving. So don't you stop. And then the Ace of Swords, you're going to have mental clarity. All right. You're going to have mental clarity. And so you're going to have a successful breakthrough. New ideas. You just got to believe in yourself. Don't give up. And the star card here is telling you just that. Keep the faith. Yes, you got a broken heart that you'll be nursing, but you'll be fine. So, this might have been some, you know, it was something that happened before. Because if I'm not mistaken, that's how the first card that came up was the Three of um, Swords. So, on top of the Star card is the Three of Swords, which is a broken heart, possible divorce, breakup. Somebody else, um was involved maybe you were betrayed and or maybe you just had some depression or you feel depressed but you had some confusion but you're coming to terms with it that could be what the devil is talking about here too okay letting go of this broken heart forgiving you and forgiving others and then you got the page of pentacles i said you're magical okay this is the time where you can manifest whatever your heart desires and you will achieve it. You 
just got to do it with your heart and do it for the greater good. And then you will have celebrations. The three of cups. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and I will chat with you soon. Bye.